You know when you're playing that game Jenga and all the easy blocks have already been pulled out? And as you take your next turn, you hold your breath because you're pretty sure that removing that one more piece is going to send the whole thing crashing to the ground. That's what it felt like last week when Jamal Murray went down with a torn ACL. Not only was it just awful for Murray, one of the NBA's brightest young lights, but for the whole Nuggets organization, it was hard not to feel like years of painstaking team building was just collapsing. Here's a group that did everything right, hitting on draft picks, developing talent, hoarding assets, and then deploying them at just the right time for a perfectly additive trade. Denver had all the markings of a legit title contender. And then Murray crumpled to the floor, and, and surely the whole thing was about to come down, right? Except Denver won its first game without Murray in the lineup. And then its second. And then last night, despite John ja Morant doing things like this, on his way to, yeah, he had 36 points. Despite that the Nuggets were down 12 with less than four to go, Denver kept battling until Jokic tied the score at the free throw line. That sent the game into overtime where the Nuggets trailed again and again fought their way out of it. Then a second overtime where, yeah, whose man is this? Seriously, whose man? Xavier Tillman, was that you who was supposed to be checking Jokic? Because leaving a man having one of the most prolific scoring seasons in NBA history that open? That's just crazy disrespectful. And the Joker made the Grizz pay with that buttery three that proved the dagger. The Nuggets went on to notch their third straight win since Jamal went down. And as for Jokic, Jokic, he would finish with 47 points, 15 rebounds, 8 assists, and with pretty much everyone around him making the case for MVP. Take a listen. As far as an MVP moment, um, I don't know. Life's about a bunch of little moments. And I think uh, Nicola's got around 56 moments this year where he's shown he's the MVP. Indeed, Jokic is the front runner for the award. His offensive numbers will just knock you over. The more advanced analytics make him look even better. His defense has improved from past years, and boy, does he pass the eye test too with moves that at times seem actually made out of silk. The season is not over yet, though, and so there are other candidates, as much as it seems to anger some Denver fans to acknowledge it. As we noted on this show last week, Joel Embiid has not missed so many games. He should be just disqualified from the race. Also, defense matters, and Embiid is unquestionably the best defender of those in the conversation. Giannis, Dame Lillard, Chris Paul, James Harden, they'd also like a word in the larger MVP conversation. Hey, Vivian from Lakers Twitter is still repping for LeBron. Oh, wait, maybe not the most reliable source to trust there. But oh my God, did you see what Steph Curry did last night? 49 points against the top team in the East, which is his fifth 40-point game in April. And we're only two-thirds of the way through the month, people. The man is 33 years old, has already won two MVPs, and yet this may be the best he has ever played. And afterward, well, there was plenty of drum banging for him to be recognized. Here's Magic Johnson, quote, Steph Curry left no doubt about who is the real MVP tonight. And by the way, you can say what you want about Magic's Twitter account. I've said plenty. But he is Magic Johnson with three MVPs himself, three finals MVPs, and five rings. So his opinion, not just that of some rando. As for my opinion, I say it every year. I never pick an MVP until the season is over, and I don't ever campaign for anyone. The discussion is simply just too interesting for that. But I do have an opinion about the Nuggets as a team, especially after these last three games, when it looked like the whole Jenga tower was about to go down. They are fighters and more structurally sound than it might appear, even if you take away one of their most important building blocks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.